today I'm going to be teaching you some basic ballet movements. Sometimes those are the hardest and most challenging. We'll do a few repetitions of each, but I highly encourage you to do more on your own. We're going to start in first position, heels together, inner thighs touching, zipping up from your center, and we're going to plie. So you want to press the knees open as you open them, as you go down. Heels are together, pressing firmly into the ground. Now, through your center, pull up and zipper through your center. So you're growing taller as you go down, and you're growing taller as you go up. Down and lifting up, down and lifting up. Really stretching those calves and Achilles tendons. Really working at the hip joint to rotate those knees open. For me, this is already tiring because I'm really forcing my knees open and I'm really trying to bend as much as I can. I'm really trying to grow tall through my center and lift up my abdominals. Now you're gonna hold and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Keep going, and pulse. Put the knees open, open the knees. You gotta open, and open, and press, and press, and press, and press. My inner thighs are killing me. Hold here. And lift one foot and down. And lift one foot and down. And lift and down. Lift and down. Now we're gonna go lift, lift, lift. Try to stay still. Lift, lift, lift. And lift. other leg, lift, lift. Get that heel forward, lift, lift, lift. Lift, open that knee, lift, and lift. Now both, lift, and 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 lift. Well, I'm burning and up. Shake it out, ready for grand plies. So, grand plies are difficult. If you do 100 of them, oh my gosh. Ready, you're gonna grow tall as you go down. Do not let the heels pop up, let them come up naturally. Stay lifted in your body, booty in, press the heels down, and then come up. So it's down, 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 press the heels and up. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Woo, my legs are killing me. And up, down and up, down and up. Whew. All right. So we're in our grand plie, and let's do a little pulse, and 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 pulse. Now, if this puts any pressure on your knees, A, probably don't do it. And if you do do it, don't do it so low. Just take a little demi. Don't do a whole grand, yes? And you can even do it with your legs turned in so that it doesn't put as much pressure. So you would still do a demi plie and a demi plie and a grand plie and a grand plie and lift the heels and lift the heels, lift the heels, lift the heels. So there is modification to all of this. Now we're going to do our second position and same thing. We're going to take it down. Now you want to go down as far as you can and lift up through the center, growing tall 
as you go down and taller as you come up. Really squeezing those inner thighs together at the top. Really squeezing those inner thighs. And squeeze. And down. And squeeze. And down. And squeeze. And down. And squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. Now hold it here. And pulse. And pulse. And pulse. And pulse. 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 Keep it going. Yes, keep your body lifted. Try not to sink. All ten toes on the floor. Your body weight even on them. Pulsing, lifting up in your body. My inner thighs are killing me. Pulse and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! And shake your legs out. I'm already tired and that is just the beginning. All right, so we did first position, second position. We did a few uh, variations. Now that we're warm, I want you to really squeeze through your center, grow tall, and you're gonna slide your foot out on the floor until it's pointed. Now, you're gonna grow tall as you slide the foot back in on the floor. These are little tondus. Slide until you can't go anymore. Put the foot down, slide back in. So it's a out and in and out and in. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're going to lift it up just a little bit. So it's, it's a little lift. This is called a degage. And I really want you to push from the floor, but don't go too high. Push from the floor. Push. It's like electricity. Push. And push. And push. And push. 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 Really squeezing those legs together. Grow and tall. 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 Other leg. Push, 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 big J. Up off the floor, just a tad. Squeezing tall, and one, and reach. Reach that toe, out, and up, 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 Woo! My legs are getting tired. All right, so, Basically, those are three of the main exercises to start your workout with when you're doing a ballet bar routine. These are exercises that need to be done with form and technique. As you see, I brush the floor until the end, and then I brush it all the way back. This is very, very important. It um, determines the, um, I guess, the velocity, I don't know what the word is. Anyways, it determines how strong your push will be. It all comes from your center and the energy just pushes up, pushes up, pushes up, pushes up, in, 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 in. those a try. Now we're going to be in fifth position. Same thing. Tondu and tondu. Good. Brush the floor. Your hips are square. 
facing the front or crossed. The heel and the toe meet. Now the degage, 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 and in. Emphasis on in, and 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 in. Back leg up, and in, out, and in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, degage, degage, degage. Okay. Ooh, my buns are burning. Let's do the other leg. Ready? And tendu. And grow tall. Really crossing those legs, pulling tight, lifting up in your abdominals. And big J, big J, big J. In, 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 in. is so important to all other postures to your back everything is related you have to learn to move your feet and work them um, independently of your leg in order to get good mobility throughout the leg and be able to loosen up throughout the legs up to the pelvis and then into the back so a lot of people with like arches so, flat feet and, um, you know, um, I guess supinated feet or everted feet, when they walk, they're really putting a lot of pressure on their back and changing the balance. So you have to make sure that all 10 toes are always on the floor. Always think of pressing the big toe into the floor just in case, so you don't want to roll outwards. You want to really press in, press in. Now what I like to do is I like to, I like to grab the floor and release. Grab, release, grab, release. And that really loosens up the toes. Grab, grab. And you can do this like with a towel or a pencil. And you're just grabbing and releasing. Good. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a very small video, but very important to get these few basic exercises correct before we move on to the next ones. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.